Testing your email before you send an email out to your audience is not something you should skip. Testing your email campaigns is important because it ensures that your campaign looks the way you want it to. What your email looks like in MailChimp may look completely different in a contacts inbox. This way you know how the campaign will display on different browsers or email clients. So let's get started. So I'm logged into my MailChimp account. I'm in the all campaigns page and I've got right here a testing email demo. So let's click on edit on that and begin our testing. The first thing to test for when looking at your overall email that you're ready to send is for the green check marks. Obviously you're gonna to have to have a audience that you're gonna be sending it to, so you get the green check mark from that. Your from address, in this case is for my business address, and a subject and your content. In your content, you cannot have any pre-filled in content that you have when you choose a template through MailChimp. So make sure that's removed, you get the green check mark. Other things to check for when you're testing your email before you send it is if you've got tracking set on. So you can go down here at the very bottom of the page and set up your tracking if you wish. The next thing you wanna check is to make sure that you have an appropriate campaign link when you're sharing it out to social media. So I've copied this email a couple of times and it still has the old campaign URL when it says interior plants newsletter. So I'd like to go in and edit that to something a little bit more appropriate. Maybe new tutorial updates and click save. So make sure you're looking at all of this information on this page before you send your email. So for now, I wanna go into the edit design option now, before I send this email, I just want to add a couple of things to make it a little bit more interesting. Very quickly, we'll add in a paragraph, drag and drop that down. We're going to type in hi. And over in the top right section of the options for the paragraph, we have merge tags. Click on merge tags, then click on first name. And now we have our merge tag that says hi, first name. Click done on the left. Let's drag in a button. Put that down there. We'll change the button text. Something like that, click here to check out the new updates. We're gonna put it in uh, my website URL. So that's all set there. Now let's click on our first test of our email. Let's click preview. In preview mode, you have two options, desktop or mobile. In desktop, it's gonna look virtually the same because I'm viewing this in a desktop. Let's look at mobile, pretty much the same. Not too bad, I was making sure that the button was okay with enough spacing. Great, now we do have a merge tag here. Now over on the left hand side, we have something called enable live merge tag info. And what that will do if I activate that, it will put in the actual name of people that are on your audience list. So you get an idea of how it will look like. I like to click through at least three or four of these to make sure that they are looking good. That looks good to me. And again, you get to check out your from, your subject, and your preview text. The next test option that I do is send a test email. Let's click on that. It opens up a window with the field to enter email addresses. Enter the email addresses that you want to receive the test mail. A suggestion here is to use more than one email provider when testing. Here's what I do. I have several email addresses from Yahoo, Gmail, and Outlook. I want to see what the email will look like from each of those providers. So I'll enter each of those separated by a comma to receive the test email. So I've entered in three emails here. You can also include instructions and a personal message to the people who are receiving this test email. Maybe you want them to do specific tasks within the email to make sure that let's say that the links are working, that type of thing. So we'll click on send test. You get a bon voyage, your test email is on its way. It also gives you email testing tips. So let's click OK. Now let's go check out those emails. So in Gmail, this is what we get for our test email. Notice that the merge tag comes out as bracket, bracket, test first name, bracket, bracket. When using merge tags through a test email, that's what you will see. Here it is in Yahoo. Looks pretty much the same. So all of that looks good with the exception of the merge tag. How are we gonna test the merge tag? So we know that the merge tag will work in principle, but I'd rather be absolutely sure. So my extra step here, if you want to, is to send the actual email campaign to me 
And here's how I do that. So let's exit preview mode and click continue. So we go back to our summary of our email campaign. How I do the testing of an actual email to myself is that I have a tag connected to my contact information in the audience list and that tag says test. And so what I can do here is I can click on edit recipients and select the tag test. So let's scroll down here, quite a few options here, click on test, then click save. So now I know it's gonna to go to one recipient, me. So I'll only click send. And here is our outlook that we just sent the email campaign to. That's how I verify that the merge tag is actually working. Let's go back into MailChimp. Let's go back into our campaigns. So we'll click on all campaigns. Here's the one that we just sent. So how do we send it to the actual recipients? Well, if we click this drop down list here, we're gonna click on replicate. And replicate, we wanna edit the name. We'll change it to ebook segment new tutorials because that's an internal thing that I know who I'm sending this to. We'll change the recipients to the ebook and click save. And then we can either schedule or send it off from here. If you're interested in learning more about MailChimp, check out this video right here. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.